Hello everyone, it's Vicky here today designing for Bramble Fox and I'm using a perspective from the September Fox box. Now I've missed videoing this first part of the video and I really apologise for that. Let me just talk you through it. I got some pattern paper, I covered it in clear gesso and then I just swiped my Distress Oxide inks across it. And I'm still doing that, so um, you can see what I'm doing here. I just scrape it across, or in that case, pat it across. And then I wet my brush and I swipe it across the page. Now what you can see I'm doing here with the pink is that I'm adding some yellow in to try and tone it down a little because the pink was a little bit too bright for what I wanted. I used the colour called lipstick. It was just that little bit too bright, but by putting the yellow and then dabbing some of it up, it just sort of made that much more subtle. And I did it with the yellow as well. I wet that with a bit of orange into it, um, which was, I think, spiced marmalade, and it did the same. And then on this, I used a couple of different colours of blue. I used a sort of an aqua colour, and then um, the faded jeans as well. And it just I just wanted to tone them all down a little bit. They were all a little bit too bright. So, um, so yeah, so because of the gesso, I can do that. I can pad it up and put more on and it will still work. So I think I dried that off camera um, with my heat tool and um, I'm thinking about what I'm going to do with my photos now. I've got these two super cute photos of my niece and she's just messing around and I made them black and white because there are all sorts of colours in there and I wanted them to stand out from the page. So I'm playing with some flowers. These are from These Days, uh, Cocoa Vanilla Collection, and I think they go really well with the gold of the best life perspective that I'm going to use. And I've decided to put my photos vertically like that on top of each other, and that's so that you can see the colour coming out from both sides of the photos. So what am I doing here? I decided to do some splatters, just to add a little bit of extra interest to the mixed media areas. And I'm just, I think, going to do the pink and the blue. There we go. So I'm just going to pad it onto my packaging, water it down, and then use my brush to splatter it on the page. And then just use this um, kitchen paper to just mop up the excess. And you can still see them subtly, they're not really um, obvious, they're just subtle on there. So I'm going to use some of these little pocket cards to go to mount my photos. Um, all of this is in the same collection. And I'm just using a couple behind each of them. And just in the same colours as I'm using there on the base. <coughs> Excuse me. So the top one will have more blues to it. The, uh, uh, sorry, the bottom one will have more blues to it. And the top one will have more pinks and yellows to it. I don't want them to be perfect behind. But I just want some little spots of colour showing through. fiddling about with it a bit, <laughs> but I get there in the end. Okay, I'm going to, well, I tried to staple them together in order to stick them down, but I realised that I've run out of staples in the stapler and I can't find my staples. So um, that will have to wait until I can find them. So I decided to use double-sided tape instead. There we go, so those are fully mounted now. I want to overlap the perspective onto the photo a little. And I'm gonna use up this little piece that I ripped off from the top paper under the photo and I'm just gonna stick that in there, just as a bit of extra interest on that side. And then I'm ready to stick them down. Just 
make sure there's that that little white bit in the top corner is just perfect for the perspective to sit over without covering any anything important on the photo <clears throat> so I'm going to cut off as I always do the white border on some of these florals just to um, take just take that white away I just prefer it gone <laughs> Call me fussy. There we go. There were a few of them that I just cut through there. And I'm pulling out some other pieces of ephemera here. And I like, I mean, the trees here that I'm putting on in the house have no bearing to the photos, really, but I like them. And so they're going on. So I'm using sort of yellows, sort of tone on tone, but not quite here. So I like that. I think that looks really cute. And I like that little happy there which I'm going to overlap over the photos again it doesn't really cover anything and I just like it being there and that little tab at the top says best today which I think looks cute and it's the pink to go at the top just looking through all the bits and pieces so many things in this collection so I'm going um, white border crazy again and I'm going to cut the border off of the trees and the house there we go and I'm, I think I'm going to start to stick things down soon. I'm also going to use this little, oh, stick the happy. And I took off a little puffy sticker of a house, which I'm going to use as well. I can't see where I've put it at the moment, but it's somewhere. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to put some foam on the back of the trees, just on the, on the bushy part of the tree, obviously. It's too narrow to put it on the trunk there. And I like those, so I'm going to stick those down. Start to stick other things down as well. The flowers, I sort of um, fold up, fold up the petals a bit when I stick them down. And then I'm using Scotch tacky glue, which I find is really good for sticking the perspective down. It's a wet glue that dries really, really firm. Ah, oh, there's that puffy blue house. He's going in there. And some more ruffling of the flower petals going on here. I just think it's nice to add to that dimension on the page. Little blue flower. I do love Coco Vanilla collections because they, um, there are always lots of florals and then they always seem to go really well with the colours that Morag chooses for the perspectives. And um, yeah, I'm drawn to them quite frequently, as you will probably have noticed. So this is a butterfly. Again, I'm just cutting off the border. These things are super easy to cut borders off of. You know, if you've got the patience to do it, they're just basic shapes normally, so they don't take too long to do. I use those little um, scissors. They're cutter bee scissors, and they're super sharp and really, um, really small, so they do the job perfectly. So now I'm going to use these stars that um, from Bramble Fox. I think these are available in store. There's a couple of different colourways, I think. And I'm going to use the blues and the pinks. So I'm going to use the blues on the blue section, pinks on the pink section. And once I've got these little, um, the little plastic bits off the front and back, they're ready to stick down too. And I'm going to use that Scotch tacky glue for these as well my go-to glue so I use it for most things. That one again looks quite sweet on the picture, overlapping the picture and um, I'm just going to put three of each on here, three of each colour. I like to do things in threes and sticking down the butterfly. I think we're getting close to the end now. Some little puffy hearts added in tone on tone. that's a little watering can which says love grows here nothing again nothing to do with the photo but I like it because it's with the trees and the flowers that grow and these are just little clear stickers with um, plus signs on which I think are really nice little detail and that fell off so I'll restick and then we're on the final, final layout there it is I hope it gives you some inspiration and I hope you enjoyed the process please do let me know if you have any questions I'll be happy to answer them in the comments um, in the meantime, thank you so much for watching. This has been Vicky for Bramble Fox. See you next time. Bye-bye.